Welcome to Royal News Updates. Hello, Royal folks. Good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of world news and analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank you all for enormous love and support. In case you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now and don't forget to press that bell icon. So it's finally here. What we've all been waiting for, Lady Killer Colin is back, and this time she's making sure that she kept it tight for Harry and Meghan. Lady Colin Campbell has slammed Meghan Markle again after the recent Netflix release, and this time it's brutal. In an exclusive GB News interview with Dan Wooten, Campbell insists Brits embrace the Duchess of Sussex when she was first introduced to the world as Harry's partner. Lady Colin Campbell appeared on GB News last night to discuss with host Dan Wooten the claims Prince Harry made about the Queen in his bombshell Netflix docuseries. Lady Colin Campbell blasted Prince Harry and Meghan for attacking the Queen's legacy as the couple spoke about their departure from the royal family in the Netflix series. Mr. Wooten questioned the royal author, Lady C., can we talk about the actual claim for Prince Harry because it's so despicable to me that he is now trying to undermine the late queen. I think he and Meghan have embarked upon a dangerous damaging territory, which they both know is going to damage the monarchy and I hope it's going to boost them with Americans. There is awfully strong underlying undercurrent to all of this that is politically motivated so they can gather great influence and make more money. In the final episodes of the Netflix documentary, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex detailed breakdown of their relationship with the royal family. Prince Harry said he initially asked for a half-in, half-out arrangement, while Harry and Meghan would have quit their own jobs, but still work in support of the Queen during a crunch family meeting. He said on the show, but it became very clear very quickly that the goal was not up for decision or debate. He said it was terrifying to have my brother scream and shout at me, and my father say things that simply weren't true. My grandmother quietly sit there, take it all in. While recalling the conversations with Prince William, then Prince Charles, and Queen Elizabeth. He said, but you have to understand that from the family's perspective, especially from hers, their ways of doing things, and her ultimate mission and goal responsibility is the institution. She's going to go on the advice she's given. And the GB News host then questioned Lady about the devastating impact Harry and Meghan's departure had on the health of the ailing queen. He asked, it is wrong for the couple to claim no responsibility of the damage it caused to the queen. Lady C said, so they're attacking her legacy, they're attacking her life's work. They were trying to negate, and in fact, the series was done with a possibility she would be alive. She answered she was in the driving seat. She was the person who made the decision. She was the one who threw Lord Lyon King of Arms because he's the person who announced that Harry can't be half in, half out. Lord Lyon is one of the leading courtiers, and he is not the man in a gray suit. If he was in a position to do it, you can depend on it. He got his directive from the Queen herself. And for Harry to pretend otherwise, he may be kidding himself. But he's not kidding anybody else. I don't think he's kidding himself. So what do you think about this news, guys? Do you think Harry turning against the royal family is no coincidence? Do you think Meghan manipulating Harry is the real culprit behind all this fuss? Write it down in the comment section below and let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling World updates, like this, subscribe, and press subscribe that bell. Subscribe to our channel. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.